Well, hello, traders and investors. My name is Roger Scott. I'm the head trader for Wealth Press. Today is Wednesday, August 19th. Schools are opening up. Some are closing back up because of COVID-19. It's a mess. But the U.S. stock market, the broad market, not the NASDAQ 100, the S&P is making all-time highs. What did I tell you a few weeks ago? I told you that the market is broadening. It's not just tech and healthcare anymore. Transports, uh, defensive stocks, basic materials, and now retail. And that's what I want to talk about today. Let me get through the global news and then I'll jump into retail sales. So world shares were mixed Wednesday after S&P 500 lodged a fresh all-time high. And European indexes opened a little changed and U.S. futures are slightly lower. But we are heading higher, folks, and it's broad-based, and that's the key. It's not just the healthcare and the tech stocks anymore. Trade tension between U.S. and Beijing's waited on sentiment after our beloved President Trump said he has postponed talks at a virtual meeting scheduled for last week because I don't want to deal with them right now. I'm going to repeat that right now. He said, I don't want to deal with them right now. I mean, you got to love that, right? So unpolitical. An 8.2 rise in export to China, the first since 2019, suggests the recovery is helping offset weak demand in other markets. It is. We are finally, finally, finally seeing less price gauge gouging on Amazon. We're seeing little parts that were missing from the stores for months and months, which is finally telling me that China is exporting once again. The nearly 21% decline in exports to U.S. was much better than the 50%, 50.6% slump in May with strong demand for technology, allowing people to work from home, helping sustain export of computer chips and electronic machinery. But car exports were down 30% year on year, remains Japan's Achilles heel. Worries over trade tension between the U.S. and China which threatened to further disrupt trade between two largest economies, initially pulled the Shanghai lower, but it recovered. The market recovery is even more noteworthy considering considering the death rate. COVID-19 continues to split, spread. We've got 5.4 million known cases and 170,000 deaths in the U.S. alone. Despite the disconnect between the economy and the markets, investors appear to be reassured by the unprecedented supply of Federal Reserve Congress and central banks, which have plowed trillions of dollars into the economy. And it's showing investors are watching for signs that Congress and White House might bridge their gap and agree on more aid to support the economy. Excuse me. Now, I told you yesterday, we saw Walmart report that Walmart Walmart online sales have surged 97%. Now we are seeing the Target's sales surge as America leans on big box stores. Now, let me go through this. Comparable store sales at Target soared 24 plus percent. More evidence that big box are returning. The question is, is it through online shopping or are people walking into the store? So, Comparable, uh, well, let me go through here. Target, Wall Street, Walmart, and Home Depot, the three biggest ones, and Lowe's if you want to add them in, have all benefited as America limits their trip to few stores and focus on stay-at-home activities. But again, are they doing it online or not? Comparable sales, which include sales at stores open at least a year, and online sales set a record for the three-month period. Online sales surged 195%. You see what's happening, folks? It's very clear. Sales established at stores rose only 10%. And this is what I was trying to tell you yesterday. Consumers are spending. They're just not going into the stores. Americans have relied on big retailers, such as Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon, since the start of the pandemic. Walmart's online sales, for example, rose 74%. I, I read yesterday 97%. I think the increase was a 97% increase. But that's huge, huge, 74%, 97%. Online sales surged 195 in Target. You guys, oh, here it is. That trend accelerated to 97% in the second quarter. I knew I knew I got that 97% from somewhere. Yeah, so 74% in the first quarter and 97% in the second quarter. And Target surged 195%. 195%. That's, that's what I'm looking for which means 
that Americans are shopping. They're just doing it online, incognito, no one around. And that's actually what brings me to today. Now, I want to show you something. Remember what I told you beginning of the week? Consumer discretionary is now in first place. Consumer discretionary is consumers spending moolah, spending money, right? How they're doing it online, in stores, well, we know how it is. It's 10% rise in stores, 195% in uh, online, 97% rise with Walmart. You see the numbers are, they're, they're substantial. We're not seeing a 5% spike. So consumers are shopping. And I think what happened in the beginning, if you look at February, March, and April, people were kind of shocked. They didn't know what to do. And then finally, finally, they said enough. I need clothes. I need my toilet paper, but I don't want to go to the stores. And they gave in. I did the same thing. I never, ever, ever in my life used to buy clothes online. Never. Now, not everything. I'm still not buying shoes and pants online, but I'm buying my shirts online. I've probably bought about 20 shirts between, um, let's see, May, early June, and now. I just got into it, and now I know my size. Now I know where to go. Once you get into the process, it becomes easier. My wife started buying uh, a lot more things online. She has stopped going to supermarkets. She now buys her groceries online and gets them delivered, and she loves it. So online shopping is becoming big. Retailing is heating up. Now, I mentioned to you last two weeks ago, time just gets away from me, as you could probably see. I, I'm still confused that we're in August. I'm thinking we're in February still. I'm just a really busy guy sometimes. But the point is, people are shopping. Consumers are shopping. And I want to go through this with you. I showed this to you the other day. This is the S&P 500. If you were to look at this, this was this is the top, I don't know, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's like top 20. So this is the top 5% of the S&P 500. If you were to look at this a month and a half ago, two months ago, you would only see tech, um, tech, you would see uh, biotech and health. Those, That was it. Tech, biotech, and health. You saw the cloud computers. You would see the Amazon. You would see the payment processors and biotech. Now, UPS. Why? Well, people are using UPS to bring all these goods. If Target grows by 195% in online sales, don't you think UPS shipping is going to go up? How do you think that stuff gets to your house? What about FedEx? Right? It's not a coincidence. So now you're seeing L Brands. That's that's a retailer. Um, Whirlpool, PayPal, they're using it to process payments. Haynes Brands, I know I saw Gap here. Gap is right here. Best Buy is right here. eBay is right here. The point is, it's a lot broader. It looks a lot more like it used to before this February correction that we saw, which is telling me, and that's what I was saying a few weeks ago, that the strength is not just in the tech anymore and medical and biotech. It's becoming broad-based, and that means the S&P is going to go higher, which is what we're seeing right now. Now, in light of everything we're seeing, I want to focus on four retailer ETFs. I think these are going to give us some upside over the next couple of months. First one is ProShare Online Retail ETF. If you, you can see here, it's got a strong buy. It's making all-time highs. Ticker symbol, ticker symbol is O-N-L-N. -N. Look at that, all-time highs. And if you look at the constituents, let's see. Amazon, Alibaba, Overstock, Wayfair, Stamp, Etsy, Chewy, Grubhub. I love it. I mean, I love this. This is great. I'm looking at this right now. I am This PDD, Pindudu, uh, Mercalibre, this is great. These are really good stocks. I like this a lot. You know why? It doesn't have a lot of the large box stores. It has mostly the retailers. That's what it's called, online retail. The, remember, online retail heated up in Target 197%. Look at this. Look at this. 195% while sales at established stores rose 10.9%. And Walmart, for example, last quarter, they rose 74% online sales. This quarter, 97%. I knew I remember that 97%. I don't forget numbers like that. The point is, people are buying online. Here's another one. Online Retail Amplify ETF. I buy. I showed this to you last week. Look at the profile. It's moving higher. Let, uh, constituents. Let me, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting caught up in the moment here. Overstock, Revolve, Carvana. I love Carvana. Wayfair, Peloton, Etsy, Grubhub, PayPal, Stamp, Stitch. Notice, notice something? 
Look at this one. Look at the stocks it's holding. Chewy, Grub, Liberty, eBay. Look at the look what it's got. Grub, PayPal, Stitch, Revolve. Same stocks. Same same stocks. eBay. Not in the same concentration, but same stocks. Let's now go to retail. Retail ETF. Now this is not online. This is just retail. Let's look at what it's doing right now. It's making highs because remember, retail's retail. It doesn't matter where the money comes from online or people coming into the stores. Matter of fact, it's cheaper and more effective, and the profit margin's higher online because you don't have to. You don't have the store. You don't have the employees. You don't have the the uh, commissions, the insurance, all that stuff that goes with stores. So let's go to constituents. Let's see how much focus it has online. Now this one is focused more on overall market, not online. So if you're really, really focusing on online, you want to go with O-N-L-N or I buy. If you want to focus on traditional retailers, R-T-H looks really good. And another one is X-R-T. So if you believe, and they're all making all-time highs. If you believe traditional retailers are going to go back in vogue, you may want to go with X-R-T or R-T-H. And let me show you the constituents. This is the one that's in the S&P. You could see Carvana, L Brands. That's number one right now. So it's got a little bit of everything. It's mixing up. It's got Best Buy. It's got Gap, Big Lots. It's a little bit of everything. It's it's a it's a hodgepodge. So if you just want to focus online, you got ONLN and iBuy. If you want to focus on everything, you got XRT and RTH. All right. So again, I told you about a week and a half, two weeks ago, that retailers were going to go up, and they did. And I also told you about FedEx. I want to take a quick look at FedEx. Let's see how it's been doing. Yeah, we've got in like around here. And then UPS. Let's take a look at UPS. Yep, still going higher. Still going higher. The bottom line is if retailers are going to keep heating up, United Parcel Service, UPS, and FedEx are going to keep heating up as well. So again, if you're an online guy, if you believe the online of, of conditions are going to continue, ONLN and iBuy. If you think the mixed bag is going to continue, and it will, I mean, people are just going online. These are limited to things you can only buy online. These are limited to things you can buy online at at a retailer. So again, they're all making all-time highs. Just depends where you're focused. I would still be focused on online. I would probably put about 80% of my exposure in one of these and 20% of my exposure in one of these. And as retail starts uh, moving higher, I would just reallocate. All right. Now, before I let you go, I want to make sure you signed up for today's Smart Money Spike webinar. It's, a, it's going to be an amazing webinar. Josh Martinez is hot right now. I mean hot. Spots are filling up really fast, and this could be your last chance to reserve your spot before we go live at 1 p.m. Eastern today. Yes, we're going live at 1 p.m. Eastern today. During the webinar, Josh Martinez and I will reveal our Smart Money Spike system. This system doesn't care about the current crisis, coming recession. It identifies, get this, it identifies the Smart Money Spikes and allows you to trade with the backing of billions of dollars from Wall Street. We've predicted We've predicting that if you join today, this could give you the groundwork to profit no matter what happens in the market. Bulls, bears, it doesn't matter. What we're doing is fading the big money. If a strategy has a 70% profit, I mean, excuse me, if a strategy has 30% profit, we flip it on its head. If a strategy has a 40% profit, we flip it on its head. You have never quite seen anything like this. You don't want to miss out. It'll give you a chance to, tr to capture triple digit gains, smart money spikes. Josh Martinez and I, today, 1 p.m. Eastern time, you can't afford to miss out, especially with what's going on with the market. Don't forget to click the link below to register. We're predicting if you join this webinar, it'll give you the groundwork to profit no matter what happens in the market next. I'll talk to you soon, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Sign up now. Don't be late. Bye, guys. Have a great day.